and, and, and Dimitri, oh, and I see somebody else been planning something for us today. Oh, yes. Good morning, Pastor Florin. And good morning, Dimitri, and your friend. How are you today? Hello, to Rebecca. I'm great. Mila and I had an amazing day yesterday. We ate lots of food and went swimming, and we even saw the fireworks. Yeah, and Dimitri's mom made her special surprise bars. Mm. That's great. I had an awesome day, too. I went to my cousin's house, and I went swimming in this pool, and then I went to the beach, and then I ate a lot of food. It was great. So, today's lesson is going to be a little different today. Yeah, we finished our series last week, didn't we? We sure did, Dimitri. And I, for one, had such a blast learning, about, m learning more about sharing special times around the table. I didn't get to hear the lessons. Were they fun? They were. And we learned a lot, didn't we, Dimitri? We did. I have an idea. Since we weren't here for the lessons, maybe we can share what we learned from them so you know how great it was. That's an awesome idea, Dimitri. Hmm. Let's see. Do you remember what our memory verse was? Acts 246. They worshiped together at the temple each day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy and generosity. Thank you. Great job, Dimitri. What was the first lesson about? Well, our first lesson was called No Leftovers. It was all about giving God our best and not just our leftovers. Do you remember which true story we talked about, Dimitri? Yep. We learned about the story of Mary and John, Mary from John 12. Mary was a friend of Jesus, and so she and her siblings had him over for a meal. After the oats, Mary washed Jesus' feet with nard and dried them with her hair. Nard? What's that? Nard was a very, very expensive perfume. One bottle cost about as much money as a whole year's worth of wages. And Mary didn't just use a little bit of the bottle, she used the whole thing. She definitely didn't God give God her leftovers. She gave him the very best. Exactly. Mary loved Jesus so much that she gave him her very best to show him her love and to honor him. And we should do the same. In lesson two, we talked about being thankful, even if all you have to eat is broccoli. <laughs> yep. We talked about a true story from Luke 17, the story of the ten lepers. Ten leopards? That's a lot of big cats. No, lepers. People with a skin condition. They were considered unclean and nobody could go near them. They wanted Jesus to heal them. When they asked him to, he told them to go speak to the priest. When they did, they realized that they had been healed. I remember. Only one of the lepers went back to thank Jesus. The other nine just went on their way. Yep. Even though Jesus had healed them and changed their lives forever, only one of them thanked him for it. And we should be thankful for everything Jesus has done for us, right? Even if we're not leopards, I mean, lepers. Exactly. God desires for us to be thankful and grateful for everything he's done for us. I mean, just think about it. He's blessed us so much. Why would we not thank him for that? And I remember the last lesson we learned about sharing our stories with others. Good job, Dimitri. We learned from the true story in Mark 5 that we should all share of the amazing things that God has done for us. Do you remember what happened, Dimitri? Yep, it was the story of a man who was possessed by evil spirits. He was crazy. What kind of crazy? Well, he was really strong. The people tried to chain him up, but he broke the chains and he would scream and shout and hurt himself with rocks. He sounds so scary. Yeah, well, but guess what? Jesus wasn't scared of him. 
When Jesus saw the man, he sent the evil spirits out of him and into a herd of pigs, and they all ran off the cliff. Do you remember what happened next? The man wanted to go with Jesus, but Jesus told him to go share what God had done for him with all the people he knew instead. Exactly. Jesus told him to go share the good news of how God had worked in his life. And we should talk about what Jesus has done for us, too. You got it. We should always be ready to talk about everything that Jesus has done for us with other people. Nice work, you guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, we finished that series, and soon we'll be starting another one. And I'll give you a little bit of a hint about what we're going to be learning about next. It has to do with a battle. A battle? Yep, but you'll just have to wait until next time to find out exactly which battle we'll be learning about. Oh boy, I can't wait. Hey, me too. Well, so long you guys. Thanks for helping me. Have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye.